Nityanam guys, inviting you all to watch the daily satsangs. Um, recently, Swamiji, I mean, he's always revealing nuclear bombs, but recently I find them very, very powerful. So I want to talk about a click I got in yesterday's satsang and uh, inviting you to watch it. It's at approximately 8 a.m. IST um, on nityananda.tv or Facebook or YouTube or Twitter or Instagram, everywhere. So uh, before jumping into that, I want to welcome you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Sri Nityananda Paramashivam. Um, Swamiji has been talking about the grand narrative of Hinduism. So many people um, outside of India or outside of Hinduism or even within Hinduism to a certain extent, um, they feel like actually a lot of um, traditions outside of Hinduism have kind of abused Hinduism in the way that saying that this religion is a big mess. Um, actually, it's not a religion. Actually, it was labeled as religion later on, but originally, it's, a, it's a, there are traditions and spiritual traditions uh, to experience your super consciousness. But putting that aside, people are saying you know they're all um, there's so much confusion. They don't even agree within themselves, and it's all chaotic and it's nothing. It's a, outdated and all that and they abuse Hinduism in that way and Swamiji has been uh, sharing about what is the grand narrative of Hinduism of Sanatana Hindu Dharma and the grand narrative is the principle of Parama ultimate and the principle of Parama um, can be experienced individually it can be experienced in a customized way according to you how you want at the time where uh, you want it. So it means it can even change within your own life, it can even change. And it manifests in your life as an Ishta Devata. An Ishta Devata is basically you connecting to one of the god or goddesses of Hinduism. And you connect to that Devata, to this god or goddess of Hinduism, as the embodiment of the Parama, of the ultimate. And by offering your prayers, and uh, your devotion and surrendering and experiencing this deep feeling connection with that deity, with that god or goddess, um, you start to experience the ultimate. Swamiji was even sharing that even within your journey of realizing you, realizing the space of Paramashivam within you, you might change from Ishta Devata, and that is not a problem. If suddenly you start to feel like you want the ultimate to, you want to relate to the ultimate in a different form, then you can simply, you know, ask the ultimate to, uh, to transfer everything, all the tapas and everything that you have done, that you have, uh, the, all the feeling connection you have built with one deity can simply, simply be transferred towards another deity and then the ultimate will start to manifest himself or uh, into, in the form of the deity that you choose. And that's crazy. I mean, I myself, um, I, I got attracted to so many deities as I, in my journey of experiencing Sanatana Hindu Dharma. Um, it started with um, somehow Hanuman was there, Ayappa, Lord Ayappa in the south, uh, was also very strong, strongly impacted me, especially during the time where I did Inner Awakening. Uh, Nataraja, Shiva in the form of Nataraja, Kali. Uh, definitely, I had some very interesting experiences and intense experiences with Kali. Um, who else? Tripura Sundari, Devi in the form of Tripura Sundari. Um, Ganesha. And then obviously Shiva, and I, especially in the, Shiva in the form of Bolinat, um, Shiva in the form of Kalabhairava also. And... Um, yeah, and even to a certain extent that during some small periods, Vishnu, Mahavishnu, Krishna, I also felt very connected to them. So like that, Swamiji says that as you mature, as you um, get closer and closer to the space of Paramashivoham, you will start to relate to the ultimate in various ways. And my experience is like, it's like you explore your consciousness. And when you explore a certain dimension of your consciousness, you will feel that a god or a goddess is embodies that dimension better. So when you're exploring that dimension, you will connect to that god or goddess 
and you will experience your feeling connection. And at some point, when you start to experience another dimension of your consciousness, then you know you might want to change Ishtadirata. It might not happen also. Sometimes you can go throughout with one deity and be integrated to one uh, Ishtadirata, and that's amazing. Um, and, and yeah, so it's very important to understand that Hindus, Sanatana Hindu Dharma, is all about experiencing the ultimate. And you can choose the form that you relate uh, to in the way you want. I Actually, there's a sloka in the Bhagavad Gita where uh, Sri Krishna, Lord Krishna, he says, uh, Krishna was an avatar of Mahavishnu, if you are not aware. And he basically says that when a devotee wants to experience me in a certain form and want to have to, um, to experience a sincere feeling connection with me in a certain form, I assume that form to fulfill the desire and allow the feeling connection the, or the, fulfill the desire of establishing a feeling connection, a stronger feeling connection with the devotee. And um, this is the sloka. Bhagavad Gita Chapter 7, verse 21 Yo yo yam yam tanum bhaktaha Shraddha yarchi tu michati Tasya tasya chalam shraddham Tam eva vidhadham yaham Whatever celestial form a devotee seeks to worship with faith I study the faith of such a devotee in that form. So, uh, Swamiji revealed that in yesterday's satsang. So, he's revealing many things. Yesterday was a lot about Kali. And um, so, I'm really inviting you to really check the satsangs. And it's, 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 it's very enlightening in about, it's kind of bringing light onto what is Hinduism. And Hinduism, even though it might look chaotic for a dualistic mind who does not have who does not cherish my multi multi-dimensional logics or multi and understand the multi-dimensions uh, multi-dimensional uh, existences or planes of existence um, for dualistic logic it might be difficult to understand but um, if you seek enlightenment at some point you have to realize that a dualistic logic will not allow you to move forward at some point you will be stuck and stagnate you will have to drop this kind of logic and start to cherish another kind of logic like Naika and Vaisheshika like Sanjay is saying multi-dimensional logics which allows you to understand the principle the, even the principle of gods and goddesses actually different parts of Hinduism are being digested by other movements Sanjay was sharing but there's one part which cannot be digested and that is all the gods and goddesses because, uh, because you need to have a multi-dimensional logic to even be able to cognize and feel stable in that understanding. A dualistic logic cannot feel stable in that understanding so naturally it will want to discard it because he feels that logic is powerless in front of that multi-dimensional existence. And, but for enlightenment we have to shift from dualistic logic to multi-dimensional logic and start to experience the gods and goddesses. They are all embodiments of superconsciousness, which radiates. Um, you know, cert uh, I don't even know if saying certain qualities is the right way to say it, because don't want to restrict them because they are not restricted. You can experience the ultimate in each one of them, but they look different, so you can connect to them in a different way. They 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 radiate a, a, a certain different type of energy. We can say. But they are the embodiment, the crystallization of uh, Paramashiva, of the ultimate superconsciousness of the space of Paramashiva. So that's it's amazing. Um, so Hinduism, Sanatana Hindu Dharma is all about experiencing the ultimate in the way that you want, that you feel like. Uh, like. So inviting you to uh, again watch the satsangs on a daily basis. Swamji is revealing pearls every day. And, um, and yeah, so if you have any questions, experiences, you can share in the comments below, inviting you to subscribe, click the bell icon, like, and thanking you all again for watching these videos and supporting this channel and the spreading of Swamji's message um, of reviving the authentic Sanatana Hindu Dharma, uh, the source, the science of enlightenment, which is underneath every, the whole tradition of Sanatana Hindu Dharma. So it's not just doing things just because it's a cultural cultural thing. It's actually a science for you to realize your superconsciousness. So with that being said, 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll see you in the next video. Nityananda.